Hey everybody, Dan here with LeafScore.com. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at two side-by-side -side, uh, solar installations on Long Island in New York to look at the differences between panel efficiency, uh, what that means in terms of real-world production uh, over an entire month of production, to see how the efficiency changes the total amount of energy your system will produce. So first off, I thought it would be helpful to discuss what panel efficiency is. Uh, panel efficiency is expressed as a percentage, and it tells you the percentage of the sunlight that is hitting your panels that can actually be converted into electricity. Uh, so why does that matter? The greater your panel efficiency efficiency is the more sunlight your uh, panels will consume and convert into electricity which means greater energy savings for you so basically the higher the panel efficiency the more your energy savings are expected to be uh, this case study is designed to look at how much uh, of an effect that panel efficiency has on actual production and energy savings so we're going to look at two homes uh, side by side this is my house here uh, and this is my neighbor's house we both got solar installed a few months apart uh, my system is an 8.8 .8 kilowatt system. Uh, it has 22 400 watt panels installed from SunPower or Maxion, which is the parent company. Uh, these are X-series panels which have an efficiency rating of 22.8%, which is the highest in the solar industry. My neighbor's solar array is a 10.125 kilowatt system. It has 24 405 watt panels installed. These are REC 405 Pure Blacks. Uh, they have a, an efficiency rating of 21.8%, so just 1% lower than the efficiency that we have on our system. So a few things that I took into consideration when comparing these two systems. First off, we both have south-facing roofs. Um, since the sun, in North America at least, travels through the southern portion of the sky, south-facing roofs will get the most direct sunlight which means they'll have the highest production. So um, regardless of the efficiency rating, panels facing south in North America will see a higher rate of production than panels facing east, west, or north. Uh, second, uh, our roof pitch is a little less aggressive than our neighbors. So roof pitch matters because uh, it changes how direct the sunlight hitting the panels is. So the more direct the sunlight, um, the higher the production rate. There is a very minor difference between our roofs, so it's more or less negligible, but something I considered when comparing these two systems. Uh, a very critical part um, that I'll discuss a little bit in depth later is that my neighbor has two panels installed on the rear roof. Uh, it's a small flat section of roof, so it's not technically a north-facing roof. Um, it's flat, but the production on those is going to be significantly lower than a panel that's angled toward the sun and receiving that more direct sunlight. So that will play into my calculations later. Again, I'll discuss uh, the math that I did to figure out how that affects uh, production. Uh, next, as you can see, both of our roofs do not have tree coverage or any significant shading. Uh, that's important because anything casting shade on your panels means that it's interrupting sunlight getting to those panels, which means lower production. Uh, so we both have south-facing roofs that have no tree coverage and no significant shading, which is the best case scenario in North America. And lastly, both of these systems were installed all just a few months apart. Now that is important because panel efficiency uh, or the panel efficiency rating that is given to you by your panel, panel manufacturer um, that will degrade over time. So most panels come with an efficiency warranty um, which guarantees that you'll maintain usually around 80 to 90 percent of the original panel efficiency over the warranty term and a lot of that efficiency loss uh, happens in the first few months or the first few years really of the panels being installed so it's important that these were installed just a few months apart because it's uh, looking at the efficiency and the difference in production based on that efficiency um, as the efficiency is at its peak for these two systems. So that's another crucial part, uh, another crucial thing that I considered when comparing these two solar systems. So I looked at uh, solar production for January of 2023. Um, our system in that month generated 492.2 kilowatt hours which is 55.9 kilowatt hours generated per kilowatt installed. Now I'm comparing uh, based on um, production per kilowatt installed because their system is significantly larger than ours, so obviously theirs is going to produce more than us, uh, more than ours I should say. Um, so I did it based on a uh, production per kilowatt basis. So ours generated uh, 55.9 kilowatt hours per kilowatt installed. 
In that same month, the neighbor system generated 512.1 kilowatt hours, which is 50.6 kilowatt hours uh, generated per kilowatt installed. As you can see, our production was significantly higher per kilowatt. Uh, ours was 55.9, theirs was 50.6, so that's a pretty a stark difference. If you take those two panels on the rear roof of our neighbor system uh, out of the equation entirely, so let's assume that they produce no energy whatsoever, which is obviously not the case, um, but just for argument's sake, let's take those out of the equation. Um, that would bring the neighbor system to 9.32 kilowatts, uh, the total system size, which means the system produced 54.94 kilowatt hours in January of 2023. So even if you remove those two panels entirely, it still generated um, a lower amount of electricity uh, per kilowatt installed. So you can already see that the efficiency, that 1% difference, 22.8 versus 21.8, uh, makes a big difference in production. Uh, since the north-facing panels are estimated to produce around 80% of what south-facing panels can produce, uh, that would mean their effective system size is 9.97 kilowatts, accounting for that 80% of the 405 panels, or the two 405 watt panels in the rear of the property. Uh, their total production for January in that case would be 51.36 kilowatt hours per kilowatt installed. Again, comparing that to our 55.9 kilowatt hours, you can see a, a pretty significant difference between the two systems. So basically you can see that the efficiency rating makes a pretty significant difference. Even if you remove the two panels that are on the flat portion of their roof, our system still generated more kilowatt hours per kilowatt installed. Um, and obviously if you consider the uh, flat panels producing 80% of what the south facing panels generate, uh, there's still a, a very significant difference. So that 1% difference in panel efficiency translates to 4.54 kilowatt hours per kilowatt installed. So if you consider that ours is a nine kilowatt system, theirs is over a 10 kilowatt system, average around 10 kilowatt system, that's a difference of 40 kilowatt hours per month, which is uh, pretty significant. So there are some other things to consider when comparing these two systems. Uh, cost is, of course, going to be a big factor. Uh, our Sun Power or Maxion panels are, con are one of the most expensive uh, panel models in the entire industry. So our system was significantly more expensive than theirs. So obviously we paid a premium for that higher efficiency. So in my opinion, that higher cost is worth it. Uh, just given that our production is so much um, higher, uh, I think over time we're going to see cost savings or energy savings that are going to offset that uh, upfront cost. Another thing to consider is the warranty included in panels. So panel efficiency is not the be all end all of the value of the panels. Uh, Sun Power panels come with one of the best warranties in the industry, but the REC warranty, uh, these are REC panels, the REC warranty also comes with great warranty coverage. Um, if you are going to consider uh, comparing two systems uh, like I did to see if panel efficiency makes a big difference, you're going to want to consider the warranty um, in combination with the cost because you'll pay more for higher efficiency, you'll also pay more for better warranty coverage, and those two things are important to consider when choosing a solar panel manufacturer. So in conclusion, there's about a 1% difference in efficiency translates to a difference of 4.54 kilowatt hours per kilowatt of solar installed in this case. Uh, this is a pretty big deal, and this definitely could mean that the more expensive panels are worth it over time as they will lead to greater energy savings. You should also consider consider things like uh, the cost of the panel on a uh, per watt basis uh, and the warranty coverage that you get with the panels before you decide if the higher efficiency panels are worth it for you. So if you have any questions at all about this case study or the systems involved, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, hopefully this was helpful in helping you determine if paying for a higher panel efficiency is worthwhile uh, and we will see you next time.